Yeah, ain't shit sweet, ain't shit funny. Ay, ay, it's blue tints on my hundreds. What's up, guys? It's BD here, and welcome to the Holy Kingdom of Linear Switches. Whether you like thock, whether you like clack, or maybe you just enjoy the finer things in life, we have a switch for you today. I'm gonna to be counting down my top five linear switches. So if that sounds like you, if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around because we got all bangers today, all great switches. Now I decided to make this video because I get asked so often, hey BT, what's a great switch for gaming? for typing. So today, not only am I gonna tell you what switch to get, but I'm gonna tell you what plates it goes well with, what I've learned on my journey through linear switches, some of the faults that I've made. So I'm using my mistakes as a way to help you guys get the right switch on the right keyboard. So the first switch on the list today are the tangerines from the key dot company. Now, if you guys remember a while back, I built the Q and I originally built it with alpacas but the typing experience wasn't so great because I had a thick brass plate, it was a sandwich mount, and it just felt like I was typing into a brick. So I decided to go with a heavier switch. This one is still high pitched like the alpacas, but it's 67 grams. It also comes in a 62 gram variant as well. These come pre-lubed, but I like to throw a little bit of lube on there as well as filming them because there is some top house wobble and the pricing isn't too bad on them. The lube I use on these is the Crytox 25 gray zero lube, but be very careful because they actually do put a lot of pre-lube from the factory on these. So like I mentioned, these are a high pitch switch. Some people might not like that, some people like it. It's all personal preference, but I don't know about you guys, I don't want all of my keyboards to sound the same. I want some variants. I want each one to have its own particular sound profile. That's the fun part of this whole hobby. So well, like, what's the point if everything just sounds the same? So I like having a high pitch switch like the tangerines around. They're very smooth and they just feel like an overall great switch. So let's drop a sound test of these on my cue. All right, so I get asked about this next switch all the time, the Novel Keys Cream. Now, I never did a review on these, but I did put them in my Omnitype Bauer video. I call these the Thought King because these are so thoughty. But be warned, these do take a lot of work to make them sound good. So when I first got them, I actually hated them because they're just so scratchy. It's palm on palm. So they, they call it self-lubricating, you know, because it has to wear down and become smooth. So what I like to do or what I read about online is that you have to break them in for 30 days. So I broke these in, I put these on a hot swap keyboard. I just typed away every day, just trying to bang on the keyboard, trying to hit all the keys, trying to smooth them out. And around the 14 day period, it just like, like magically snapped and these became a smooth switch. And then all I had to do was put some Crytox 205 Gray Zero Lube on them and they were golden. Now the tolerances between the top and the bottom housing are super tight. So filming them is just a pain in the ass. I don't recommend it on these like I did with the tangerines. Um, these are 70 grams, but they feel a little bit lighter during everyday usage. Now I love putting these on a polycarbonate board because it just brings out the thock even more, but you can also put these on a aluminum or a brass board and bring out some of the thockiness if you're not too fond of the clackiness or, or if the keyboard that you're building just has way too much clack. They have a very distinct feel to them, very smooth, but scratchy at the same time. And it just all creates this whole thocky goodness and i really love the nk creams but they take a lot of work so be warned this is not just a switch that you can just throw into your keyboard and expect it to sound or feel good because it's not but don't take my word for it let's drop the sound test of the omnitap bower so you can hear what the creams sound like All right, so next up we have JW Recolors. 
They're everywhere these days. Seems like every week I get excited, I see a new switch, only to come to find out that it has a nylon bottom, a polycarbonate top, and a palm stem, which is what the JWK switches are known for. Now don't get me wrong, it creates one of the smoothest typing experiences that you can currently get, but it's a bit overdone. And I feel like the switch that really put JWK on the map was the Alpacas. And that's the switch that we're gonna talk about next. These are so amazing that other companies have taken note and have made their own variants of it, like the banana split switches from the Key.Dot company and the Glorious Links. Both of those feel really good as well, using the same materials as these. So if you can't find the Alpacas, there are other versions of it out there. These do come pre-lube, but I find that they sound better with Crytox lube and they feel better on your fingers when they are filmed because it gets rid of the top house wobble that sometimes plagues these kind of switches. Now, I don't believe there's any set switch you can get used to any weight, but I feel like these are a very good weight for gaming, following the thought process that a lighter switch makes for a less fatiguing switch on your fingers, overall leading to you gaming and performing at a top level for a longer period of time. But me personally, I can game with any weight, especially if you're a casual gamer, any of these switches on the list today will work. But if I was playing competitively, I would definitely pick up the Alpacas for a custom build. Now these do have more of a high pitched sound to them. So keep that in mind. Like I said, I switched this off my brass plate because it just felt like I was typing the bricks. They were just way too light. So I like to pair these with a polycarbonate plate or an aluminum plate, just something a little bit softer. Now I currently have these on my Ducky Year of the Rat, which is kind of like a gaming keyboard. So you guys can hear what these sound like. I believe that these JWK switches are like the standard now. They're like the new Cherry MX Reds. We can throw those out. Now we have the JWK Linears, 62 grams. These are amazing. Now these next switches have a special place in my heart. All right, I used to hate them. They weren't my favorite, especially the V1s. They had leaves popping out all over the place. They were a pain in the ass to lube. The top house wobble was insane. It just made for a just a, a nasty sounding switch, okay, overall. But the V2s of the black inks, the Gateron black inks came out and these are simply amazing. I started using them and I haven't looked back. These are 70 grams, so they're on the heavier side. I highly recommend lubing these with some Crytox 205 grade zero lube and then filming these because there is some top house wobble there and that will just transform these switches into something that is just one of the smoothest experiences that you can have in the keyboard hobby right now. These are like my cheat code because I know that if I have a keyboard that's not gonna sound as good or have a budget keyboard, I can throw some black inks into it. It's gonna feel and sound amazing. So for those of you guys out there who are buying maybe a cheaper keyboard or it doesn't sound that great right now, buy some black inks, okay? Put them into that keyboard. It will definitely give you a more muted sound, give you a more smoother typing experience. And overall, it just it's just a cheat code. At the end of the day, the black inks are a cheat code, all right? And I have it in my main keyboard, the Iron 165. And normally when I have an in-game keyboard, I like to have the Gateron black inks in it because I know it's gonna sound good, know it's gonna feel good. I personally love them for gaming. I love them for typing especially. Now I paired them with my brass plate and my Iron 165 to kind of mute it. I was kind of scared it was gonna be clacky, like I said cheat code. So let's drop a sound test on my favorite keyboard, the Iron 165 with a brass plate and my favorite switch, the Gateron Black Ink V2.
All right, so last but not least, the new kid on the block, the Aqua Kings are in the house. Did you guys think I was gonna leave it off? Doesn't that just sound all smooth and sexy all at the same time? But that's exactly what you're getting with the Aqua King switches. It comes in three different variants, a 55 gram, 62 gram, and 67 gram variant, depending on the weight you like. I find that going up in weight on linears provides more of a smoother experience, and the overall sound is more muted compared to a lower weight. The version I have here are the 67 seven gram version and these are smooth as butter. If you want a low effort switch where you can just use some stock, you don't have to lube them because they come pre-lubed already. You don't have to film them because the top house wobble is very slim, slim to none then the Aqua King switch is your guy. I believe that like 99% of the people that try one of the weights of this switch will love them. These feature a polycarbonate housing with a polycarbonate stem and it's super smooth. Unlike the palm on palm, Polycarbonate or polycarbonate does amazing things for your fingers. Everglide knocked it out of the park with the Aqua Kings. These are gonna sound amazing on a polycarbonate plate or a palm plate or an FR4 plate, as well as a brass plate or aluminum plate because they are so muted. Definitely go up and wait if you're gonna go with a brass or an aluminum plate. Here I put them on my M65B, which has a polished PVD brass plate, and it sounds amazing. Let's drop that sound test for you guys right about now. All right, so that's gonna do it for the Kingdom of Linear. I hope you guys enjoyed all those sound tests because I know I did. We had something for everybody today, whether that was thock, clack, light for gaming, smooth, heavy. We had everything today. So let me know down in the comments below, did I miss something? Did I miss a top tier linear switch? Let me know your gripes down below as well. I'll fight you over it. But I think if most people were to try one of these five switches, I think that they would fall in love with them. All right, it has been your boy BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace.